guys welcome back having a play with the 3d flower effect and I'm trying a new resin uh, it's one that I've had sitting around for a while I'll show you the bottle in a minute once I put my gloves on <clears throat> this is the piping bag that I use I get them from eBay they come in small medium and large this isn't small so basically what I do is I just want this bottom triangle so I'm gonna cut it here on a bit of an angle like that and then I've got a triangle I just throw that bit out I don't need all of that because you only need a little a little bag to go into I'm getting very frustrated with my phone it keeps turning off through a video um, I've measured on my little scale 30 grams of resin which is one ounce um, where did I put my torch? Oh, it's around the other side. And I put a tiny little bit of resin in with my purple glitter from Doris, and the rest is in here. So that is the, I did 65 grams of A and 55 grams of B because, you know, A weighs more. So that's what I did. Um, I've got my little piping bag just sitting in there. And how long has it been now? It has been 40 minutes. I don't know. I don't know how long I should wait for this. Like it's warm. It's not hot. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's the first time I've used it for this particular technique so I don't know but let's put the white in anyway let's get that done we'll do five drops one two three four five of the cast and craft I must actually do a little experiment and maybe try some different whites and uh, see if the different whites work what do you think because I have got a few different white pigment pastes now, two drops of the Piñata White or Blanco Alcohol Ink. That goes in there. <clears throat> and let's give that a stir. So I don't know if I should keep waiting until it gets warmer. I don't know. See, my other one, the one I did the other day, which is just sitting over there with the barns, I piped at, um, what was it, I wrote it down, uh, 30 minutes, but this one, this is the art coat, so it has a longer um, using time, so I don't know, I, I have the feeling that I should wait a little bit longer until it's a bit warmer, so I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to put this, I'll put this in my centre. See, it's quite sticky, look at that, it makes a little mound. Give it a bit of a swirl around. Hopefully that's the centre. The middle. So you don't need very much. I've still got some left in there. But you shouldn't overdo it, hey. Not put too much in there because it's a it's not a huge coaster. 13 centimeters. Give it a torch. Always get bubbles trapped in there. Okay. Um oh, I don't know how long to wait. Still taping. <laughs> Um, I'm going to come back in five minutes. I'm going to wait for five minutes. And we'll come back. Because, um, yeah, it's still not quite warm enough, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay. So now it has been 45, that's probably 46-ish minutes. By the time I'm probably piping, it'll be 50 minutes. It's not hot, um, so yeah, I guess the only way to, to know if it's going to work is to try it. If it doesn't work, if it sinks, 
to the bottom and we get the blobs then I haven't left it enough time I guess although maybe because it's a thicker resin it might not even work the same as the thinner resins do like I just don't know I guess if it doesn't work you're never going to know because you won't see the video or, or maybe I should put it up anyway I don't know all right I'm going to make my little hole a little bit bigger Mm, that's probably about four, four to five millimeters wide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines from the center going out. I'm going to go up over the top of my coaster mold and then I'm going to get my skewer and I'm going to drag it and make a swirl and see what that looks like. <laughs> what do you think? All right, let's do this. Still seems pretty runny but all right Actually, I'm still taping if I stop taping can you guys let me know please someone let me know uh, all right here we go Actually, I might as well just do this up and over is all I'm doing Again, I should have put it on my turntable. Make life a lot easier. I keep forgetting about it until it's too late. I'm just squeezing with my thumb get the resin to come down got more on that side let's do a few more I've got lots of white so I might as well use it there we go that'll do still got more see I probably only need to do 15 grams but um, I always play it safe and have a little bit too much now these bits that are over the side, when they're dry, you'll just be able to peel them off, so it's not a problem. So with the stick, don't use the pointy end because you'll scratch your mould. Uh, I'm just going to start here. Go around. I don't want them too close to each other. I do want to get to the very edges, like so. Woohoo! Okay. Well, that looks pretty. Whether or not it's going to work, I have no idea. Maybe I should do two. But I see I don't want to waste too much resin by doing two if it's not going to work. So I do one and then I always have a little bit left over. So let's heat it with the torch. Heat gun. All the way around and then I'm just going to push from the outside in. All the way around. And again you don't want to get too close or do too much blowing because You've just spent, well, I've just spent 45 minutes waiting for my resin to get thick. And um, if you heat it, it's just going to get thin again. So don't overheat it. All right, now we just wait. Watch and wait. Wait and watch. Let's go down and have a look. You can come down and have a look and watch with me. We'll wait and see what's going to do. Hopefully it'll work. Just getting my gloves off. It's the pink one sitting there that I did this morning. Okay, let's have a look. I need to look over the top of the camera. Does it look as if it's doing anything? Does it? I think it does. We're just whispering here. I hope it works. 
what gets blooming there on the edges there see there it does look as if it's blooming look you guys whether or not it'll sink I don't know so what was that that was like that was 50 minutes I'll write all this down I've got a, a notebook and I keep a track of everything looks like some kind of weird centipede curled up doesn't it with all the legs <laughs> oh, the purple's throwing bits of red oh, I'm excited you guys <gasps> hope it works it definitely looks as if it's blooming Ooh. okay um, we'll come back in about 15 minutes or so and see what it's doing all right I, I don't think any has dropped to the bottom See, because it's so thick too, it's a very thick consistency, this resin. So maybe that helps it to like stay suspended and not sink to the bottom. See, that's why we wait. If you've got a thin resin, that's why we wait and wait and wait for it to thicken up. Hmm. Burning heaps. All right, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. I'll go and charge my phone. Righto, let's have a little look. Lift the lid. Let's go in and have a little peek. I better move that out of the way, hadn't I? Look, you guys. It looks, still looks like a curly centipede. Or millipede. Got the scalloped edges. Don't know that there's going to be a lot a free space to see in between there's a little bit there there's a gap see I'd like it to have a little bit more gappies so that when you put your base coat on your purple you can see through it but I'm still working on how to do that I think maybe if I left it a little bit longer so that the resin was a bit thicker maybe it wouldn't spread so much what are your thoughts on that? Oh, this is going to be so fun to look at tomorrow. Cannot wait. All right, I'm going to put the lid back on and I'll see you all in the morning. Right, I'm back. And I've mixed up a dinsy wincy little bit of resin. A little tiny bit. I don't need very much. You only need enough to cover, don't you? So why waste a lot of resin and glitter if you don't need to let's put some of this in this is um it's a really pretty shiny color it's called purple sapphire by resin art it's kind of a pinky purple matches really well with this glitter this is the Doris Super Chunky Glitter. Does it have a colour? Mm, no. Oh, Iridescent Muse, says on the back. Iridescent Muse. It's a strange name. <laughs> All right. Um, now, I don't know if you can see, but it's changed quite a lot. Like, it's closed up a lot. I think I'm going to do this again. Well, not I think. I will do this again. Same resin. And instead of waiting 50 minutes to pipe, I'm going to wait 60 minutes, like an hour. Um, and just see if, um, if I can get it to be, like, not close up quite so much. If the resin's thicker, hopefully it won't close up so much, so... We'll have a look. I probably made up too much resin again. I tried not to. Like 30 grams just didn't seem like enough, so I did 40. But I don't think it's going to be too much again. I should just stick with 30 grams, one ounce, for the top coat and be done with it. Because now I have to put in so much more glitter to colour the resin. All right, that's it. Let's pour it on. And the glitter's heavier than the resin anyway, so it does sink to the back. So it's more pronounced when you flip your coaster over. 
um, the glitter has kind of all gone to the the back anyway so look at that it's gone off to the edge all by its little self let's give it a bit of a touch I love these two resin like this resin with this glitter it's just so pretty I'll give it a torch pop the bubbles try not to get too close to the mold and that is it and let me throw this away and I can take my gloves off um, so yeah that's that's all that's all folks <laughs> um, can't get my glove off I will see you in the morning for the grand unmolding. Look at all those colours. That spectrum of light that it's picking up. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. All right. I'll see you in the morning. I am off to bed. It's been a busy day. I'll see you in the morning for the unmolding. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Rightio. Let's have a little look at this. When I look at it, it's purple, but then when I, as soon as I start moving it like that, we get all the colours of the rainbow. It's just gorgeous. Not, well, not exactly, you know, thrilling, but it's still pretty nonetheless. All right, let's get it out. And all the way around. It's quite thick. I think I did quite a thick layer of the clear. I probably didn't need to have that much. Because I forgot that I was doing a, a top coat. It's out, it's out. All right. A little bit of um, a rim there, only because I didn't take it right up to the top. So that's easily enough fixed. See that little tiny bit at the back there? You can just sand that off with a nail file. All right. So this was the stone coat countertops art coat. Because I did two of these yesterday. I did one with Barnes Clarity and then one with the stone coat. So... This is the stone coat one. <clears throat> Are you ready? Hope it works. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's much prettier on this side than it was on the other side. I just thought it had all closed up and you weren't going to see any, any detail. But you can see, you can see the swirl that I made. Oh, that's really pretty. Still looks like a centipede though, curled up, doesn't it? And my centre did flow out a little bit. Probably should have made it a little bit smaller, but I think that's the only kind of negative I could say. It's really pretty. What do you think? Do you like it? The um, It's worked really well, actually. I'm happy with that. I'll do another one with that resin. I don't know if you can see it, but... Just on the very top here, look at that, that little fine line that, that goes all the way around from where I had my stick just on top. You might not be able to see it. Oh, I think you can, around there. I pulled the stick. That is so pretty. I really like that one too. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm going to plan other designs that I want to do. All right, I'll set it up outside in the sun so that you can see what it looks like in the sunshine. It's sun coming in here from the window, so it's pretty sparkly. It's really pretty. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there's another design you want me to do. I have got an idea. I just want to do like wriggles this way and wriggles this way and wriggles that way and just, just leave it and see what happens. So that'll be coming up soon too. See if that works. All right, I'm going to go and have my coffee. And uh, I'll see you all for the next video. Bye for now.